What's up, Heat Freaks? Hey. Croker with me today. We're gonna be reviewing a couple different things. Since there's two of us, we're gonna do a double duo review. Double duo. Double duo review. Hmm. Today we're going to be reviewing Beware. Beware. This is Marie Sharps. It's from Belize. Belize it or not. You best believe that. But first I wanna to get to our substrate. Substrate's going to be tortilla chips and this, boom, nacho cheese sauce. Do you think we should get a bowl for these chips? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, Where are we gonna get a bowl though? Croak, what do you wanna tell us about this? This uh, Rico's cheese sauce. This is Rico's, it's family owned since 19. 09. Wow. Um, it says uh, here, speak cheesy, smile easy. That's something I've been known to do. Gluten-free, zero grams trans fat. Uh, each container here, uh, each cup is four to three and a half ounces. They don't want to be too precise on that. Um, That's good. We never want to be too precise. That's good. Let's see. They're not sponsoring the show, by the way. But... If they want to send me free cheese. Well, let's find out if we like it first. How about that? Okay. I microwaved it. Microwave. Microwave. Go ahead and uh, stir that up for me so it can get all the heat dispersed throughout the product. Yeah, let's get a little. I didn't even spill it in the microwave. That's a new microwave. Let's do it. Nacho cheese sauce. All right. Can't be too hot. No. Cheers for the freaks. I'm gonna say that that is spot on for any of the nacho cheese that you get at the movie theater or yep. the ballpark. Yep. That is a classic flavor. It took a minute for me to get there too, but the, the jalapeno flavor finally did kick in at the very, very end there. Now the consistency, kind of like snot. And that's why we all love it, isn't it? Don't you wish your booger was snot like me? Yeah. But this is just our substrate. Let's get down to what we really want to talk about, the hot sauce. Marie Sharps. The famous. The famous Marie the Sharps. The famous Marie Sharps. The famous, famous Marie Sharps. Marie. From Belize. What does it say right there? Beware. Beware. Comatose heat level. Uh, habanero pepper sauce. Comatose. So if we eat this, we're just going to pass out. Lights out, baby. Croak. What does that warning label say? Gladly. Warning. Heat level. X, 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 X. Keep out of the reach. That's five. Keep out of the reach of children. Avoid contact with eyes or skin. That's pretty common. Got water? Do, do not play tricks on the weak or elderly with this sauce. Oh. For connoisseurs of extreme heat and quality sauce only, with an exclamation point, all others beware. And then there's a little photo of um, who I assume is Miss Marie Sharp. See you there, little oh, lady. Oh, hi, Miss Marie. Oh, she's right there on the bottle. It's would, like, would you look at that? It's like you're at home, having a nice dinner, burning with, yourself to death. Yeah, with, with Granny. With Granny Sharp. She's gonna send you to hell. That's right. But you'll be in good company because Gramps is there too. Hey, he died five years ago. God. Shit. I'll be right back. Hey, sauce me up, buddy. Sauce it. Sauce it. Oh man. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. See that? Yeah. It, it drops. Not. I like too, that. I like the drop. Not too quick of a pour, but mm -hmm. not struggling to get it out either. Here we go. Let's test it out. All right, Miss Sharp. Boom. For the heat freaks. I'm not going into a coma. It's good, right, though. right, right. It's good. Uh, I'm gonna try another. One. Yeah, try I'm, I'm definitely down. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier this time. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good idea. I could use some more. Like you said, comatose, and I'm like, okay, what are you gonna drink the whole bottle? It's hotter because I put more on it. Yeah, it's simple math. It's not a killer though. It's it's it's, it's not pleasant. It's very pleasant. Yeah, the flavor's off the charts. <laughs> is there a carrot in here? Is there's a, there's is there? Yeah, there's carrots. It there's tastes carrots. like carrots. Select red habanero peppers. Select habanero peppers. They're not just any habanero peppers. Lime juice. Yeah, you got lime. Lime juice. Told you. 
flavor, fantastic. Oh, the flavor, uh, you know, zero out of 10, I'd say an eight on the flavor. Eight? I would even go up to eight and a half. It's good. It's good. good. It's very good. It's good, good. When it comes to heat, there's what's stated on the bottle. It says comatose heat level. I'm sorry, I don't like hyperbole with my hot sauces. It's like, if you're really, really hot, actually be hot. Don't be like, oh, you're gonna go into a coma. There's five X's on the five, back. Five. five X, 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 X. Warning, don't give it to people you wanna play a joke on. It's like. That's too many X's even for Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's way too many. It's by two. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. <clears throat> It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's but it's not. But I mean, it, like, I look. I'm not even sweating. You know, I know different hot sauces. I do have the beginning of a sniffle from it, though. Yeah. Um. It, the, the the heat. So yeah, the heat on this is not comatose level, but it's very pleasurable. It's like it's like a it's 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 a nice mm, dancey five. It makes me want to dance. Probably probably a six is what I would say. Um, yeah, possibly a six. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say as far as longevity, that was short. It was pretty short. That was short. I'd say, I'd like say a three. three. Yeah. 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 This is good. Uh, one of the things we gotta talk about is flow. This one, boom, I like that. I like that. This one's this one's a little bit thicker of a hot sauce. Like I said, it's got carrots in it. It's got some body to it. Uh, so I'm actually really liking the plastic ring that's in there. It's yep. one of my favorite plastic rings. Uh, I mean, that's pretty ideal. You know, it's yeah. the, the spout hole is big enough to allow the sauce to come out without it gushing out and just pouring all over what you have. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a solid nine out of 10. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say it's perfect by any means. And I'm not quite sure it's a nine. I'm gonna go with an eight. If you're a heat freak, you could substitute this for something like, you know, Frank's, Texas Pete, oh, Tabasco, uh, anything all like the that. Way. All the way. Like, a, like in a buffalo chicken sauce. Yes, sir. Yeah, you could toss this in. High flavor, medium heat. I like it. This, this, I could, I could see this as my everyday rider right here. Actually, yeah, this, this is a comfortable level um, for the experienced uh, heat freak. All you little heat freaks at home, you know, um, if you are like us, you know, you, you've had some time behind the pepper, uh, chilled with the chili then um, this is probably a, a good fit for you. Um, it's not so hot that you can't enjoy what you're eating, um, but it doesn't, it's not wimpy by any means. What do you guys think? You guys ever had this hot sauce? Yeah, tell us in the comments below. And for heat's sake, slap like on this video, leave a comment below, and uh, this guy's gonna be bringing the heat more and more off, and I'll try and stop by when I can, so hit subscribe, and uh, we'll check you later. See you, freaks. Freaks.